Thanks for joining us here today for another video from Howard Piano Industries. Today we're going to be walking through the um, process of looking to see how a vertical piano action actually works. Uh, here in front of you you've got a um, vertical piano action model and this is going to show you all the different parts and how they work together uh, to create what happens when you press down the key and um, the hammer strikes the string and it makes the sound of a note. <clears throat> so uh, we're going to show you how all the different parts work so that uh, you can understand and, and um, look and see what actually happens in a piano when you play a note. Okay, so we're going to start up here and uh, we've had a different a different video that shows you all the different parts and the names and everything. Um, so we're going to go into a little more detail of how things work today. Um, now what happens, obviously this you might recognize is uh, the key, so you're going to press that down, and I'm going to just do it quickly so you can see that um, all the different parts that move in the action, and ideally what happens is the hammer strikes the string, the string will vibrate, um, and uh, that's what makes the sound of, uh, so as that string is vibrating, that's what makes the sound that you hear when a, on a piano key is played. So, uh, what happens is the, the key is pressed down, and as you can see is the front of the key, which this would be the front of the key over here, as that's pressed down, the back of the key is going up. Okay, and it's and it balances on this this part right here, what's called the balance rail. Okay, so as the front of the key goes down and the back of the key goes up, this piece right here, which is called the capstan, pushes up on this part right here, which is called the whippin. Okay, and that uh, that pushes the whippin up. Okay, and I can even push that whippin up without moving the key, and that'll still do the same thing. So that whole this whole lever right here, which is called the key, pushes down um, or in, on the front and pushes up on the back. So that pushes the whippin, and what happens is uh, this piece right here, which is called the jack, you can see pushes up on this part right here, which is called the hammer butt. Okay, and it pushes the hammer butt forward, which makes the hammer go forward, and uh, we'll get to these other pieces in a minute here, but uh, what happens is that hammer goes forward, it's going to, and if I do it really slowly, you can see, hopefully in the video, that it gets almost to the string, but doesn't reach it completely. Okay, if I hit it hard, then, then the strings, then the hammer is going to go all the way and hit the string. Okay, but if I do it really slowly, the hammer actually comes very close to the string, but then releases as it gets closer. Now the reason it releases and it doesn't go all the way to the string is because the jack, this piece right here, this is called the toe of the jack, and that hits what's called right here the regulating button. <clears throat> and as that the toe of the jack hits the regulating button, if you watch it really slowly, you can see the toe pushes against that regulating button, which makes the top of the jack come forward. See that? Okay, and as that as that jack comes forward, that releases the hammer butt, so that <coughs> it uh, it stops moving forward from the um, the movement of the jack. Okay, and the reason for that is is if the jack pushed the hammer all the way up, so that to the point of the hammer hitting the string, then the hammer couldn't be released, and the hammer would just would just go up against the string and it wouldn't be able to vibrate because the hammer would be pushing up against the string um, which if something is holding onto the string it's not going to be able to vibrate so it what, what it does is it gets it close enough so that with the with the power of the of the jack or the movement of the key so that it can get almost to the key and then release so that the string can vibrate so the the hammer just hits it very quickly um, and falls back and um, the string can vibrate. Okay, now what happens also is um, when that when that hammer comes back, it, it's not allowed to fall back all the way to its resting position, which is of course back here on this uh, on this hammer rail. Okay, but when you play it, it's caught by this piece right here, which is called the back check. The back check catches uh, this piece called the catcher. Um, and uh, it holds the the hammer so that um, 
it doesn't fall all the way back. And the reason it does that is it, is it uh, aids when, you, when you're repeating the note. So it doesn't. So it would it would be much much uh, less efficient if the hammer had to fall back each all the way back each time, before you could repeat the note. Okay. So so that's the back check catches the catcher. Um, uh, now the other part of it is uh, it's got this piece right here called the damper. Okay. Now you can see there's felt on on this resting against the string when the hammer is at rest or the key is at rest. And what happens is, as the hammer goes forward, you can watch, just watch this piece right here. The damper lifts off the string, okay? Now the damper is there so that the string won't vibrate when you don't want it to. So what happens is um, when, the, uh, when the key is down, that damper is lifted off, okay? And the way, the way that it's lifted off is back here by this, uh, this piece called the spoon, okay? The spoon pushes against the damper lever, um, and it's right, it's this uh, silver piece right here that's attached to the whippin, um, and so that pushes against the damper and raises the damper lever up off the string. Okay, so let me, sh let me show you slowly again. As you can see, as, um, as they start to slowly push down the key, that that raises the damper lever. Okay, now you can adjust that spoon so that the damper can, the damper can adjust um, or can start to raise the damper earlier or later depending on what uh, you know what you want to do so so that's part of the adjustment process but that's that's what the damper is so so basically um, when you push down the key it um, it pushes up on the jack pushes up on the which pushes up on the hammer butt hammer goes forward until the jack toe hits the regulating button which releases the hammer so that it can fall back and be caught by the back check. All the while the the damper um, felt or the damper is is being raised up off the string. Now if you notice when you of course when you let go of the key okay now you might notice when you play a key that um, the note keeps ringing until you let go of the key okay and the reason that the string or the string stops vibrating or the note starts stops ringing is that the damper uh, felt where the damper head is going to go back down and, and um, go up against the string, which is going to stop the sound. So those those are the basic functions of a um, of an upright piano action and how it works. Um, so hopefully that helps you to understand it better. If you want to visit uh, our website, you can see all of our piano videos on piano tuning repair and, and all about pianos. It's howardpianoindustries.com.